Hello there, sorry about that. Now I've selected some items from your medical practice, which I'd like to make some offers for, some fabulous equipment, which would add to my collection. So the first item is this Lewis Star confrontation stick housed in this plastic case here a flat base there okay, it can be stood up in the clinic and if we remove the cap Now, as well as being in perfect condition, what I like about this confrontation stick is the fact there are two red targets of varying size. Beautiful wooden design, handle, and on the two targets. So if we want to be a little bit more specific with our ocular assessments, use the smaller target and we may want to use the larger one for visual field analysis. We could use it for confrontation and ocular motility testing. So that's item number one. Very much like that indeed. confrontation stick now the second item I found here would make a fantastic addition to my clinic this is the frosted occluder for checking for eye deviations, or checking for phorias, the patient's eyes. Now, the reason why this caught my eye is the fact that it's frosted. So when you occlude the eye, you can actually see the eye underneath the cover, see what's going on. Notice you have a little hole here for say hanging it up of a placing on a set and this would make a wonderful addition to my opaque occluders again I see no defects on the piece at all it's actually in very good condition I'd love to make an offer on that a little bit later Next up, I've located a very sophisticated piece of ocular equipment, commonly found in the eye hospital, in the glaucoma clinic. It was housed in this hinged, beautiful, sturdy wooden case. As you can see here, this is the four mirror gonioscope lens. First thing you'll notice is the magnetic seal there, keeping the case closed at all times. That's no chance of anything coming loose. To protect the gonioscope, I have the cushioned foam inlay there. And as for the piece itself, it's actually looking fabulous. Here is the piece in question, a nice solid metal handle, lovely knurled design there. And here is the um, lens system, so it places its 
placed on the patient's side. The practitioner can view through here and visualize the anterior chamber, giving it a grade in terms of openness. So I must say the gonioscope is a fabulous piece of ocular equipment there. Wouldn't go amiss in my collection. Item three. Okay, next up, obviously I like to add fixation sticks to my collection. Keeps everybody happy and engaged through their ocular testing. This is a fixation stick. moving images there, which would be great for checking the eyes of younger people, to keep them engaged. First you have the monkey on the unicycle. And usefully we have some pictures here for the little chaps to identify and the level of vision this equates to. other pictures. This is the K pictures fixation stick and then we have some letters here if you are not using the pictures. It also makes some fabulous sounds. Marvellous. Okay, so we've made our way through four items there. Now this item from BIB Optical is going to be a marvellous addition to my clinic. If you're willing to part with it, you can see it's almost like a stress ball. It's very squidgy. How would we use this in clinic? Well, it's used in conjunction with the Volk lens and the slit lamp holding the lens in front of the patient's eye. We can rest our elbow, hold the lens in front of the patient there, and it provides excellent support for the elbow there. A very simple but useful piece of equipment there. We have what's called a microfilament device. Something I feel could be used with our cranial nerve examinations and foot examinations. So if we just raise that there, we have the filament here and that can be used against the patient for Checking sensations on various parts of the body. Again, good condition. It also has a slot here for having it in a jacket pocket. And I've also noticed it comes with five extra microfilaments there coming in very handy in my clinic. Right, next up I found something very interesting which is going to increase the efficiency 
of ocular testing. Have a look at this here, see if you can tell me what it is. Have you used this much in the clinic? Okay, this is a lens rack used when performing retinoscopy on your patient. Right. Two paddles of lenses. You have your minus lenses here, ranging from 0.5, half a diopter, to 15 diopters there. reviewed the item earlier, there were no defects. All the lens powers were correct. The second one is the plus rack of lenses. Again, from half a diopter all the way to 15 diopters. So especially like the case that it's available in. Now the beauty of this is we keep our eye testing very efficient because when we're performing a retinoscopy the patient's eyes we wouldn't be reaching for the next lens in the trial frame yet we could just use this device quickly landing on the prescription so it saves time. Excellent for those with a very low attention span. And same with the minus if you see an against movement. Instead of reaching for individual trial lenses, you can just hold this in front of the patient's side and Sweep the beam of the retinoscope and just neutralize the movement with the correct lens power there. So that's going to save a lot of time in the clinic. Excellent. Marvellous piece of equipment there. Right, so that's the letter. Screen scrubs. So item number eight is this little repair and replacement kit. For your spectacle screws and lens pads replacement. This is fabulous. Everything's kept together concisely. A range of pad styles there for your specific screws there. And it also comes These little screw tweezers. So if we take a screw here, put it like that. That is excellent for placing into intricate joints as the screw. So if our fingers getting in the way. Also have a lens cloth here and this miniature screwdriver here. There we go, Phillips screwdriver. And on the other side we should have a slotted one, which are the most common screws slotted in Phillips. I have done spectacles. 
Oops, there we go. So it is an all-in-one repair and replacement set for your spectacles. So I very much enjoy the range of pads you can offer your patients. We have the soft, transparent, silicon one there. Even more transparent silicon pad there. And next, you could offer your patient a hard silver pad there. And for those who like to make a statement, you have your gold nose pad here. And the final recommendation is a hard pad. With the inner gold part there and the outer transparent part there. So you have some excellent equipment here, which I'm going to make an offer for. Right, let's get down to the money. So I've been blown away by all this equipment. I'm going to make you an offer now. Not including the retinoscope there. Are you going to take the offer? 